You may be planning of living in a calmer, more relaxed life. Perhaps you're dreaming of moving to a Caribbean country where you can enjoy the beaches, the beautiful nature, and the warm sun of the tropics. St. Lucia, a small island where the Caribbean Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean, may be the perfect country where you can have all of that. However, before moving to another part of the world, it is very important to think about some practical issues, such as residence, visas, and healthcare. First of all, it's a good idea to consider the country citizenship by investment program, which makes it possible in exchange for a contribution to St. Lucia's development that you and your family receive citizenship. The program has been launched in 2016 and the financial resources that it has brought to the country have allowed investment in crucial areas, such as healthcare facilities and equipment. <music> Hey there, Global Citizens. My name is Ineos, and I'm with Global Citizen Solutions, a boutique investment migration firm helping expats to find their ideal citizenship by investment program outside their birth country. We believe that everybody has the right to thrive, no matter where home is. And our mission is to match investors to their ideal investment, golden visa program, or tax benefit. You can learn more at globalcitizensolutions.com. The healthcare provision in St. Lucia has good standards. Currently, there are 33 healthcare centers, three public hospitals, one private hospital, and one psychiatric hospital in St. Lucia. Most localities in the country are covered under a public healthcare scheme, but if you are an expat living in the country, we recommend you to acquire a private medical insurance to cover all medical expenses. The main hospital is Owen King European Union Hospital, located in the capital, Castries. The hospital can deal with several types of treatments and emergencies. However, serious cases may need emergency evacuation to a nearby country or the USA. The Victoria Hospital has been reserved as a respiratory medical facility to deal with any COVID-19 cases, and treatment is free for all patients. The government of St. Lucia aims to achieve universal healthcare coverage in the whole country, but at the moment, not everybody is covered. There is a national health insurance scheme in place. Healthcare services have benefited from the influx of investment from the citizenship by investment. For example, the purchase of hematology equipment for the St. Jude Hospital in Vukes Fort in the south of the country. When it comes to residency visa, being a citizen of St. Lucia includes many advantages, besides being able to live in the country. A St. Lucia passport allows visa-free travel to over 140 countries, including the Schengen area, the UK, Hong Kong, and Singapore. You can include your whole family in your citizenship application. Your spouse, children of up to 30 years old, and parents and grandparents aged 55 or older are all eligible, as long as they are financially supported by you or your spouse. Siblings under 18 years old are also eligible. St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Program is one of the most affordable in the world. The minimum investment is $100,000 if you are applying by yourself. Let's find out about the many investment routes available. The first option is to make a donation to the National Economic Fund, which helps finance social projects in the country in areas such as, exactly, you guessed it, Healthcare. The minimum donation for a single applicant is $100,000 and for a family of four, $150,000. The second option is to purchase real estate worth at least $300,000. The property must be in one of the developments pre-approved by the government. They are usually high-end luxury resorts and villas or boutique properties. This option includes a non-refundable fee starting at $30,000. The third route for citizenship is to make an enterprise investment in the cruise ports, pharmaceutical industries, or other big businesses. The minimum investment is $3.5 million for a sole investor or $1 million in the case of a joint investment. But note that the total amount in this case must be $6 million or more. The fourth option is to buy government bonds priced at a minimum of $500,000, which must be kept for five years. A non-refundable government fee of $30,000 also applies. However, there is a special COVID-19 relief bond that was launched in 2020 and is expected to be available until the end of 2022. In this case, the minimum amount is $250,000 and there is no government fee. Once you choose your investment and make the application, it takes only a couple of months for you to receive your certificate of citizenship and then apply for the passport. Once you become a citizen at St. Lucia, then it's time to enjoy the Caribbean life. 
If you want to find out more, have a look at the links in the description of this video or visit globalcitizensolutions.com. You can also get in contact with us directly through the website. And last but not least, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.